Hi, my name is Alyash and I'm here at Ferro Ecoblast. Do you know why this wing is so strong? It's because of shot pinning, of course. Since our job is to keep the workshops around the world working with modern shot pinning equipment, we're gonna learn today what it takes to design such solution and more about shot pin. My colleague Nate Kostinitz is here with us today and he is our project manager for shot pinning solutions. He will explain us everything what we need to know about shot pinning. So Nate, why is shot pinning such an important process? Hi. Well, shot pinning is a cold working process and when we are applying shots of material with high velocity, we are actually doing dimples on the material and with that we close the micro cracks where corrosion might appear. Along with that, we also reduce residual stresses in the material that are the consequence of previous process. With that, we make the material stronger and extend the lifetime. I see. And what kind of shots are used for shot pinning? It depends on hardness of material that we are pinning and the intensity that we want to achieve. We can use shots or cut wire of different materials like steel, stainless steel, aluminium. Or we can use glass shots or ceramic shots. Usually OEM companies specify the material in advance, so if there is no special testing, we already know in advance what material to use. Tell me Knights, what do you need to know before you start designing the machine? Is there any special technical uh, information that you need to know before you start the project? For sure. If we start with the machine design first, we need to know what the part design or designs if the customer has more different parts to process. Second very important information is the capacity that they want to achieve. Based on that, we can roughly create an idea of the machine design. As for process of functionality of machine, our important input from customer is what are the parameters that they want to regulate and what they want to monitor. I understand. So basically the most important thing is the part design so you can build the idea of machine around it. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so one of our last projects for shot pinning was solution for shot pinning of construction parts. What was the main issue when designing this machine? Well, to be honest, we have done similar machines in the past, so we are aware on what to be careful about. I guess the most challenging part in designing this machine is to assure no shots will go out since it's a through feed machine. Uh, and how did you resolve this issue? Inside of them there is an air knife curtain to blow the shots back to the working area combined with the dust extraction. Of course, that would not be enough due to the speed of the shots coming out from the nozzle, so we added several layers of rubber curtain to stop shots trying to get out. I see, and what about the calibration or let's say fine tuning of machine? I know it is done here uh, before the machine leaves the place, but what actually takes the most focus when testing the machine? Yes, all testing and fine tuning is done here, you're right. In test phase we test all components, buzz, functionality of the machine and of course visual inspection. The most important thing is to achieve requirements from customer. In shot pinning we are talking of two main parameters, intensity and coverage. To get the right parameters which will achieve right intensity and the coverage usually takes a lot of time. But the intensity and coverage is not just regulated by airflow or media flow. Can you tell us more about that? Of course not. Many terms need to be right to achieve correct results. As you mentioned before, air pressure and media flow are very important parameters. But there is also a distance and angle to the nozzle to the workpiece. Recycling of the media to always achieve the correct media mix according to the standards. And also, of course, we cannot forget about air humidity and the working area ventilation. Okay, Knights, thank you for your time. I have one last question for our viewers. Is shot pinning only applied in aircraft parts? Although it is most common, because this process is used on almost every component of the aircraft. It is not the only industry. It is used in many other industries, like for example for shafts, 
gears, steel strips, springs, construction, whenever we need to make material stronger. I see. Well, Knights, thank you for your time and explanations, and see you next time. You're welcome. I hope this video helped you understand shot pinning more clearly and the importance of it. If you have any questions, please comment below or subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from surface treatment technologies. Let's board on and remember, fly safe.